I didn't realize how funny it was until I started reading it. Amazing. But so a bunch of tech bros invaded this <laughs> all women's conference. The career conference for females in tech was taken over by male attendees. They're not even tech bros. These are like desperate students. Okay. Yeah. This is a space for women in tech. This is one of those few limited resources that isn't for you. It's for us. And they go, it's women and non-binary only. Yeah. Right. For tech. And so then all these dudes who are just like probably autistic and they're like, okay, I'll just say I'm non-binary. <laughs> yeah. They were there just purely for the career fair. Yeah. And then the funniest thing is all these women are mad because now their space is invaded by non-binary people, even though... Some of the male attendees reportedly lied about being non-binary just to get in. But it's interesting that the large majority of the people that actually ended up in the event had name tags with he, him, and have no searchable history of identifying as non-binary. They had he, him pronouns. You're like, hello, do you not know how non-binary works? <laughs> Some days your pronouns are he, him. You don't get it? You're the ones who set it up saying we want non-binary people. They want just like chicks with short hair and like- <laughs> Obviously. You know, and the- Social media clips filmed at the Grace Hopper, the world's largest gathering of women technologists, show men standing in line to meet with recruiters. There's a men running around and go, yeah, what do you think non-binary people are? <laughs> well, yeah. No, it is exactly what you meant. It's like, well, we mean like what they actually mean, which they can't say is like, well, we mean non-binary, but like girls. Yeah, or like, or like <laughs> gay dudes. <laughs>